welcome back to Ghana Money King Kong. I give you tips, tools, and deals for you to be able to stay safe and save money in Ghana. What have you been doing in these past days, these past few weeks? What have you been thinking about in terms of business and moving forward after this pandemic? I know a lot of people are thinking about so many things. I know 2020 has come to stay and we are all experiencing something that we've never planned for. But there's one thing I want to tell you. There's one thing that I believe that we are going to survive. And if you believe you're going to survive, then that means there are certain things we still cannot avoid thinking about. We cannot stop thinking about what we want to do, what we plan doing and the businesses that we expect to get in. And so there was a lot of people who were planning to come to Ghana and there were people who are still thinking of coming to Ghana even after this crisis. And it's right, it's only a pause. This is happening just for reasons that we don't, we don't understand. Nobody understands what's happening at this moment. That means that we can only survive in 2020. If 2020 is dedicated as a time in a, in a year, if it's dedicated as a year where we stay alive, then it means that we still have something to hold on to. So my friends, my brothers and sisters who are out there, who we've talked, we've communicated, there were so many things that we wanted to do in 2020, but it hasn't happened. It hasn't happened because of this thing. There's still hope. And Ghana is still preparing itself to welcome you whenever this is over. Some of us who are still here, who are still giving hope, who are still giving encouragement, who are still giving support. And we keep doing that because we believe this is going to present itself as an opportunity for us to even work more to help our society to create businesses and to support our own. So many things is happening. This has taught us a lot and it's still teaching us that we could be growing our own businesses and we could be supporting our own industries in the country. So what do I want to share? The first thing that I want to say is keep the hope alive. Keep the hope alive. Understand that the plans that you had for Ghana, you had for Africa, you had for travel, is only a pause. It is still going to happen. And I'm encouraging you to keep that hope alive. The next thing is that keep talking. If you have friends, family, if you have partners, if you have people that you've been talking to, locals that you've been chatting, keep talking to them, understand the dynamics, find out what is happening in Ghana and how you can still get in the action when this is over. So your communication lines is still key. One thing that this is giving us is direct communication and constant communication online. And if this wasn't happening earlier, this has presented ourselves a way to communicate a lot. And so still talk to the people on social media, still researching, still finding out more. And for those of us who are here, because I spoke to there's a lot of um, travelers and there are people who are still stuck in Ghana. If you are still here, this is still giving an opportunity to research and do more, to get more information so that you can still better what you plan doing. And after this, you can execute. So that's number two. Number three is that be ready. Be ready with your plans. Be, re be ready with your ideas and be ready to travel. I'm saying this because I'm hopeful. And I'm hopeful because I believe it can be done. There's no other way around this. Life will go on. And if life goes on, it means that people who are ready are the ones who are going to step up. And so be ready with the plans, be ready with the proposal, be ready with the execution ideas so that you can get into the action and implement. People who want to do farming. I mean, for, for, for some reason, this has been even one of, one, of, has been one of the times that I'm getting a lot of inquiries and the people are calling me about farming and lands. And yes, we are doing our best to find a lot of a lot of um, a lot of opportunities for people who want to do farming others who want to start various businesses we are still researching for you guys and you can still reach out to us if you want more information about things that you want to do the market informal sector is still opening industries are doing their best to support local companies 
And this is the time that if you decide that you want to come and establish in Ghana, you still have the opportunity to be able to do more because new things, new ideas, and new plans can work in this industry. Number four, the government is still ready and the government is still opening up for investment. This means that there is still a lot of opportunity for you to come to Ghana and invest, for you to come to do businesses, for you to partner people. This is also the time for you to be able to learn more about Ghana by doing more research, calling industries or calling government agencies who will be able to help you. And I believe that it's between you, myself, and other people who can build Africa. And if you're able to do this together with trust, with loyalty, and we do this with commitment, it's going to happen. So Ghana Money King Kong, Ghana Money TV, we are still here. Reach out to us, subscribe, share this message. I'm only creating hope and I'm only giving this support because I believe it is the only way that can, can encourage Ghanaians who are stuck, Ghanaians who want to invest, African-Americans and the diaspora who want to come back home to come and invest. So guys, this has always been my plea. I believe in Ghana, I believe in Africa, and I know that it can work. So let's just work together. Ghana Money King Kong. Bye.